cut loose from the back of that police cruiser, Adam? Well, Tom, police say when they first arrested Derek Wright, he gave them a false name. So they had them in, him in the back of the cruiser for some time. It's a warm day. They decided to roll the window down. And Mr. Wright's a fairly skinny guy. Police say he was able to get one arm out of his handcuffs, unbeknownst to them. And as they're pulling into the police department here, slowing down to get over this bump, they say Mr. Wright reached out with that free hand through the open window, between the bars on that window, opened the door, and took off running. Mid-afternoon in downtown Franklin, police were everywhere, searching for a suspect arrested on a probation violation who had escaped police custody and spent 90 minutes on the run. He went through people's houses. Uh, homeowners were chasing after him, getting out of the houses. Bonnie Manju was at her computer when she heard noises in the woods behind her home. All those sticks and everything over there were cracking, and I'm like, there's no one out back. Can't be. She opened the screen door and came face to face with a man who looked beyond desperate as he tried to climb onto her back porch. His face, I will never forget his eyes. He wanted to get away and he was scared. That man, 26 year old Derek Wright, kept running. At one point, people at the bottom of the hill on Prospect Street spotted him in the tree line. He was running up the steps there where the brick steps were and he fell and then he got right back up and started running and then he ran in the middle of those woods. Hey! Up on the hill! Up on the hill! He's got a red thing wrapped around his arm! That was News 9 photographer Jim Lord helping to direct police toward the suspect. Multiple tips from the public paid off, and one of four state police canines on scene took down Derek Wright, biting him three times. Police walked him down to an ambulance waiting at the bottom of a trail near the Winnipesaukee River. It was a great coordinated effort between all agencies involved. Wright was treated at Franklin Regional Hospital for his bite wounds. He was back in handcuffs as police led him out of the ER. He faces arraignment Wednesday morning on multiple felony charges. Among those felony charges, two counts of burglary for the homes that he got into during his little escapade here. Police say, well, many people were scared. No one other than Mr. Wright was hurt. Reporting live in Franklin, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.